Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Stacey Lee's Life with Cerebral Palsy. If you have not already done so, and if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are a new subscriber, welcome. So I told you guys in my last video that I was going to do a part two on what depression is like for me due to me having cerebral palsy. Now, does that mean I'm going to give up on everything that I do because I have cerebral palsy? Does that mean I'm going to stop doing my videos for you guys because depression sets in? The answer to that is no. I will never give up. I will never stop doing these videos for you guys. Have I thought about it? Stop meaning have I thought about stop doing the videos? Have I have I thought about giving up? The answer to that is yes. I'm doing this video today because No matter what you guys are going through, no matter if it gets hard and you feel like giving up, don't ever quit in what you are trying to succeed or trying to do in life in general. Because the minute you give up, the minute you let what whatever is bothering you win my point of saying that is to say this don't ever allow someone to tell you you can't do something there may be obstacles in your way but you can always push through that and realize you are better than what is trying to defeat you. And I say that to say this. I have touched whether you guys comment or, or on my videos or not. In some way, somehow, I don't know how I've done it, but I did it. I touched someone in some way. And I have made you guys think about how you approach things in life. As I do these videos, I don't, once I post them, I don't look at them. I started this channel to help someone out there realize that that person or you is not alone and I will continue to fight no matter how hard it is for me no matter if I don't want to do something I will continue to do something to do it because I'm not a quitter even though I said to you guys the other day is it best for me to continue this because 
I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere by doing these videos. I felt like I was absolutely talking to a wall. I felt like I was talking to no one. But as time went on, I realized that I'm not going to reach everybody the way that I wanted to reach that person because they're not ready for me to reach that for me to reach them. And so that set me in a place where I felt like I wasn't good enough or I didn't try my heart hardest. But I realized by talking to one of my friends, and I still don't know how he found me, but I was talking to him and he found me on YouTube, and I really don't know how he he found me, which I'm glad that he did, because at the end of the day, not only did I help him in some way, whether he realizes it or not, he has helped me by allowing me to help him realize that he is not alone in this thing just because him and I have through palsy he needed to hear it from someone else that he is not alone so I say that to say this, guys. Remember in all of my videos, I, in some way, the reason why I do what I do is because I want to reach you guys and make you realize that just because someone has a disability It doesn't mean that we can't have a life because we absolutely can. We just have to work ten times harder than what we do because we can't walk. Some of us can't speak. So, some of us have to so use sign language because that's how we communicate. Some of us have to use a computer which is like a tablet it's called a back in when I was in high school they called it a dyna box I don't know if they still have them but that's how some of us communicate we all communicate in different ways just because I can very really tell you what I need or what I want doesn't mean that the person that can't ver verbally say what they need or what they want doesn't mean that they can't use a device um, to speak. And remember guys, just because some of us doesn't ha don't have a physical disability, some of us or not some of us, we all have something wrong with us, whether it be depression, whether it be medical problems, whatever the case may be, some, somebody out there has 
some type of problem. And when I say that, no, I'm not with 100%. I am not making fun of anybody. I just want you guys to know the next time you say something mean, think about what you're saying to them because regardless if we can speak or not or ever really tell you how we feel, we all have some type, we all have feelings. So just be mindful of what you say to someone. And just because you think that someone doesn't understand what you're saying, they understand it in their level, and you might just hurt somebody by saying something mean and hurtful. So, my point of this video today is, yes, depression, depression can get to you, but you have to set it in your mind that you're not going to allow it to tear you apart. You, you have to fight harder and just know that you are not alone and there's always somebody out there to talk to whether it be me or your mom dad whoever it may be and I and I did this video today because I do have depression because now I don't let it show and I will never let it show because I try to fight it. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. But the days that I let it come through is the days that you is the days that you will not see me on camera because I I can't focus on what I need to focus for you guys. And people think depression is such a bad thing. <clears throat> and as long as you do what you have to do and you realize that you have a problem, then you're going to do your best and be your best. Now some of you may not like this video. And that is fine. But. I'm, I'm doing this video because. I've had multiple. People ask me. Do I let depression get to me? Sometimes I do guys. But I'm only human. And I'm here to tell you that as long as you fight, you can overcome anything. As long as you believe in yourself, you can come over, you can beat anything. So the next time you feel like giving up, just watch this video and realize if I can do it or the next person that's sitting beside you can do it. Just know that you are not alone and no matter what, you can fight through it. And if you need somebody to talk to, leave your comment below and I will be happy to help you through or try to give you advice on whatever it is you're struggling with. Until next time, guys, remember, as I always say, never say you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Until next time, guys, always say you can. Never say you can't. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.